welcome back to my channel so today I'm doing a look on this um, you know makeup look that I've just created uh, this is using the Huda Beauty Rose Gold palette and I was just playing around with the colors I really didn't know what exactly I wanted I was just playing around and this is what I've created I'm gonna come up with a few more looks from this palette itself and I am gonna work on a few more makeup tutorials um, uh, to be very honest, I'm sorry I haven't posted any New Year's Eve, New Year makeup look, Christmas makeup look. I'm so sorry, it's just that you know I was a bit caught up and I didn't have time. And I had a few pre filmed videos that I was just posting during that time. But now I'm gonna start uploading a few makeup tutorials. I'm gonna play with uh, different looks, I'm gonna play with uh, different makeup products. I've also done, I've also used all new products that I've just mentioned in my makeup haul. I'll show you in totality how it all looks. I really do hope you like this look. Please hit the like button, please subscribe if you haven't and I will see you in my next video till then take care. So for foundation, I'm going to use my L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hours Foundation and I'm using the shade 220 Sable Sand. I'm using this for the first time. As I've already mentioned, I'm going to use all products from my Nykaa haul and I'm going to try and give, in, give you my reviews about each product. This is an amazing foundation. Um, it blends in very well. Uh, I think this is a tone lighter than my normal skin color but it's not too light so you can work around with it blend your foundation really well that's what I'm doing here I'm blending it onto my chin my forehead on my hairline and for concealer I'm gonna use my Maybelline fit me concealer again in the shade 20 sensible this is also a bit lighter than my usual concealer. I will blend this in but I just feel this is a little lighter, I mean much lighter than my regular concealers. I will be using my L'Oreal Glam Bronze Bronzer and that's in the shade 102 Harmony Blueness just to bring back some color from all the light foundation I've used this is this is a cool tone you know bronzer so I like such bronzers because or else you know they make me look very ashy muddy I don't like that look this really gave a very nice natural look and I don't know why because of this brush the hair was just coming all over my face for blush I'm gonna use my NYX blush in the shade summer peach this is a very nice peachy tone and for highlighter I'll be using my L'Oreal glam bronze highlighter this isn't a very pigmented highlighter but it's decent for day look in this video you'll actually see me uh, you know applied um, lipstick and all the jazz because I had to rush off in the middle so I've done a bit of makeup I've done a bit of eyeshadow I had to rush off and then I came back and I did my entire look so for eyebrows, I'm using my Maybelline Fashion Brow Duo Shaper in the brown tone. This is a very nice product, very affordable and gives a very natural finish. Uh, it doesn't make your eyebrows look too harsh. And I also use a spoolie at the end just to, you know, dust off any excess powder that is there
and for eyeshadow i'm going to use my huda beauty palette and i'm first playing around with the shade henna and sandalwood i'm mixing both these colors and i'm going to blend it in so this is my kind of transition color i love the colors you know i don't know why i just uh everybody has given a lot of mixed reviews about this palette but i somehow have liked this palette quite a lot i was just playing around with all the colors i had no specific look in mind i was just going with the flow so i'm applying little by little building up the intensity Now I'm going to use the shade Posi and Manita. I'm going to mix them both. I'm really, really using a very light hand because Manita is a very cranberry type of a shade, and I've gone very, very light with it because I don't want. Um, to see, I really don't want a very, you know, burgundy cranberry look. That's not what I was wanting. One, I'm going with a very light hand, and two, I'm just tapping little by little. And I'm going to use black truffles. I'm kind of doing a halo effect, halo effect. Sorry. And I'm really using the slightest. I'm just like dipping the brush in the palette. I'm not doing anything. Not brushing this. Eyeshadow also because it's very pigmented and I don't want a pitch black smoky eye look. See, I've already applied my lipstick. If you look carefully, because I had gone off. blending i think blending is key in any makeup look and for the star of the show and that is the color dubai so this is basically pigment and the best way you can apply this color is via your fingers even huda has mentioned this in the palette itself that the best pay off is with your fingers and not with the brush and you can see that i'm really not you know i'm rubbing my finger in the palette just tapping little by little i love this look it's a very nice i don't know um green i don't know how to explain it but it's a beautiful color beautiful color a full straw is all pigments so I'm just applying a bit of um, the black color all on the corners, and I'm gonna apply um, sandalwood just to my lower lash line, very lightly. And I'm applying a highlighter in the inner corner of my eyes from my Makeup Revolution palette. I think it's the fourth shade from the iconic one palette. It's a cool tone. And I'll apply my falsies and I'm just touching up by using my Lumia tool from the Colourpop palette. I really do hope you like this look. Please hit the like button, please subscribe if you haven't, and I'll see you in the next video. Till then, take care.